In this video, we will learn how to delete autofill email addresses on your Android smartphone. Hey guys, welcome to Webby Digital channel and in this video, we will learn three ways to delete your autofill email addresses. There can be a three circumstances in your case like first will be the if you want to just disable autofill functionality you can do that so second we will learn how to delete a password or an email of specific website from your autofill functionality so there's the second and third is if you want to delete your google mail account where your autofill passwords they are getting maybe you're selling your mobile to another person so, so in that case you need to delete those autofill email addresses from your google account so that's the three situation we are going to deal in this video so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are going to learn so much about digital marketing and tips and tricks about this about smartphones in this channel so let's get started okay so what you need to do is go to the settings so after the settings there will be a google icon in your settings so just scroll down to it so there it is and there's an autofill option there in between ads and backup and there's a, you have three options autofill with google phone number etc go to the autofill and disable the autofill option here like that toggle it down so it will disable all the autofill settings from here you can re enable it if you don't want that and if you want to change your email from it you can just click on the account section there you will get to change your email and now go back to your settings okay and what you need to do is if you want to delete uh, email or uh, autofill account you can easily do that using the option in the autofill itself so what you need to do is go to autofill again or go to the account and sync so there will be option in account and sync just scroll down to it so there is the account and sync and there will be a google icon in it just scroll down to it so there's a google icon and just click on the more option if you have any and there's a remove account so it will remove your account from uh, google so you don't you won't be having any autofill from that google account all right if you have multiple account you may do that using the same so now going back to the autofill section so autofill with the google here so now if you need to change any addresses or you know email from it you can easily do that just click on the password manager and browse which website you want to delete so like amazon you have you have a netflix or something like that so in this case i have just this particular website and you need to confirm by pattern just click on your pattern wait for two or three seconds so got, click on got it, enter your pattern here, confirm that, click continue. So it will also, okay, so there's a delete option here. You just need to click on delete or tap on delete and just click on delete again or tap on delete again. So that's how you can easily delete your passwords or emails using this particular option. And if you want to delete a payment method, you can also do that using the payment method options. Or if you want to edit any information about yourself, you can also do that using the personal information. So now going to the payment methods here. So here you have a different payment methods as you can see on the screen. So you just need to click on remove. So you the payment methods will be removed so you won't get any autofill data of any payment methods like such so it will just take some time depending on your model so i'm using xiaomi 10 pro so just so now going back to this so there's the preferences also just um, confirm that so there's a sync prefer preferences so you can edit such security preferences using that okay and if you want to change uh, email account of your autofill you can easily click on the account and there you can easily change it so if you want to enable or disable autofill service or on specific browser you can do that easily using this so hope you learned something from this video and if you does please click on the like button if you want to watch such tips and tricks in the future click on the subscribe button so see you in the next video until then bye bye